My given name is Stalking Cat, as in sneak up. I can walk with very little or no noise. Uh, however, it takes quite a while. Probably have seen things like this on television or in magazines uh, like the National Geographic. Dennis has lived in the back of Dave Daly's hardware store for the past six years. Do you remember the first time I met you? I, uh, you walked in the, the front door up there and uh, you startled me a little bit. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect. And I know he's broken every place since I've been here. No, I haven't. <laughs> That's what I want to catch. Somebody walking through that back room at 3 o'clock in the morning. The cat walks out and goes, ah! <laughs> I could sneak up on anyone. It's just one of those cat things. Dennis began turning himself into a tiger 20 years ago. So far, undergoing 10 extreme body modification surgeries, which has cost him nearly $200,000. It's literally been everything I could afford since I started. While I was still in the Navy, I started the tattooing. We started off with the uh, eyebrow implants and the, uh, the bridge implant here, the uh, reshaping of my ears to give them a more cat-like appearance cleft my lip, relocated my septum to change the uh, profile of my nose, had silicone injected in Mexico in my upper lip and my cheeks and my chin, did the piercings for the whiskers, did the uh, eyebrow implants for the whiskers up there. I'm going to eventually be putting uh, transdermal implants uh, somewhere around here so I can mount uh, conventional type tiger ears. I haven't decided exactly how we're going to mount them yet. You know somebody who can do it? Dennis never considered himself human. In Dennis's eyes, his transformation is only a formality. Everything I see and do, I relate to as a cat. I'm told I purr in my sleep, so. Black and orange, straight cat sitting on a bed. 